I'm Christina from Alpha 91.3, and I'm with a sound seeker, storyteller, and transforming them into chills and emotions. Phoenix, how are you? I'm great. It's good to talk to you. Thanks for taking time out of your day to talk to me. No, thank you, because I know it's a busy year. I mean, a, a weird, weird year, surreal year. But despite all, Phoenix, uh, we found inspiration in union and empathy. You see uh, the protest, uh, the beautiful story surrounding COVID-19, Black Lives uh -huh. Matter and everything. So tell me more about this ups and downs in the year, moments for you, and how is this impacting you in a personal way and in a musical way? Sure. I mean, you know, I think it's obviously, you know, we're, we're all going through a thing. We, I mean, maybe some people predicted it, obviously, like, you know, Bill Gates seems to have predicted it. There, there was a pandemic task force um, a couple years ago before the current administration. But, you know, I think we're obviously all going through this challenging, confusing time. Um, you know, I think, I think one of the things about the internet is we've all become like a little addicted to knowing information at all times. And one of the crazy stressful things about COVID-19 is there's all this information we just don't really know. Um, so I think that's really challenging for some people. And, uh, you know, my, the thing that I found inspiring about it is, you know, I think, I think people, especially like the younger generation than me are, are, they have a lot of empathy and they really care about social injustice. And I find that really inspiring and i think one of the things that we're all guilty of or maybe we, we are all not but i'm guilty of um during like a regular period of time is like if something terrible is happening somewhere in the world but you're really busy right mm -hmm. you have a you have a full day of work and you have a project you need to turn in and you have an interview like your brain just doesn't have as much room to to uh, learn about the problem because you're so busy working and trying to succeed. And so I think one of the best things about COVID is that we've all just kind of been sitting around, like hearing about everything that's going wrong and, and gone like, wow, that's, that's messed up. Like we should work on that. We should fix that. And I think that's a thing that maybe wouldn't otherwise have happened if there were no pandemic, you know? And as you're saying, everything, the pandemic and the protest and Black Lives Matter and everything, yeah. uh, what's the most fulfilling thing for you of getting released what they'll say about us? The most fulfilling thing, you know, putting out new music just feels really good always. But I think especially with this song, one of the things that felt really good was that I think it felt like it was a song where I was really singing about how I was feeling about the world at the time. And, um, you know, not that, not that I don't love a great like love song or a song about heartbreak, but I think that would have been more specific and less like, mm -hmm applicable to everybody like to me what they'll say about us was this song where i was like i think everybody can relate to this right now so yeah. that's my favorite song and and watching people feel that way was very gratifying it made me feel really good to me it gave me the goosebumps phoenix as you said like a, a kabalm but to you what as you're saying we're surrounded by a lot of information what was the last thing that you saw maybe a video or hearth that made you feel so emotional and optimistic about the future despite everything? I mean, despite Trump and the pandemic and everything. Well, that's a great question. Let me try to think of like a really thoughtful answer. I, I don't want to give you a lame answer to that question. Okay. Um, last thing I heard or saw that was really inspiring. I mean, you know, uh, the thing that's been very inspiring and, and kind of heartbreaking has been watching all of the firefighters in california this past couple of weeks uh, you know like sleeping on sidewalks in neighborhoods you know about to go back into the hills to fight off these fires that are just like destroying the the state so that's been very inspiring and made me pretty emotional to see all these firefighters like covered in you know ash and so i think that's my answer for now okay fitness and about This is a hard question, but if your art, your music, uh, could erase or fix any bad prejudice in the world right now, what would it be? Wow, that's an awesome question. Um, I think, I think the thing that I would say that would would maybe cover everything is, um, you know, I think if it could fix like the fear of anyone that's different than you, that would 
you know, I think that's where a lot of it comes from, right? That's where our kind of societal structuring of, of racism and homophobia and, you know, anything of that nature is basically because humans are like fear-based people. Um, and we, we, we fear what we don't know. And we look at people that are different than us and we think, oh, I, I don't know what that is. So I think that's, that's to me like this, this sort of, the key to everything is like empathy. As long as you're empathizing with everyone, you're, you're knowing what it's like to be in their shoes or you're imagining what it's like to be in their shoes. That to me is how you would make the world a better place. Thank you. I got to tell you really quick, a personal story. Uh, the thing that I love about your music and the relationship with your art and your sister is that you communicate through music. You don't need mm -hmm. to say much. You understand each other because my brother uh, has autism. So mm. I think that is the way to empathize with him, like with your music. So I see you as a good uh, reference to that, to being just empathy with everyone. So thank you very much for doing this. And also, I got to ask about, I've seen a lot of your interviews. You say a lot the word proud, proud of yourself. <laughs> and you should be because you've, you've worked so, for, for so long time. You deserve a lot of things that are going on for you. The Grammys, best producer of the year. So... I got to ask you the same question that I asked really a year ago. You finished. Do you think you've made it in the music business? I mean, yeah, but I think one of the things, first of all, that was everything you said is very kind and please give my love to your brother. Um, Thank you. I would say is like, I felt like I had made it in the music business when, when that was my only job. Like to me, that's, that's all I've really been trying to do my whole life is make a living making music. Like, you know, even if I were only making like, a hundred dollars a month or something for my music. If I were able to live off of that, I would deem that a success. So, you know, I think pretty much as soon as I was like, wow, I don't think I'll ever have to work at a job that makes me miserable. Um, you know, I think that, that I felt successful um, and everything else. I just feel crazy lucky, really. Um, yeah. Okay, and about, I hear you, you're very inspired, and I want to know if the next album, because I saw a tweet where you said, loving every second of the next album, uh -huh. uh, is it just made from recent experiences or new songs or songs you've been working on for years? Um, I mean, all of the new music that we're making is just music that I think is like, I'm, I'm really proud of it, but it's all very different. I mean, I'm working on a lot of solo material. Um, Billy and I are obviously working on a lot of new songs. And, you know, I think it's, yeah, I mean, our goal always in terms of collaborating with Billy and also like on my own records are like, I don't like to make songs that repeat themselves. Like I don't, I don't like to make a bunch of songs that are the same. So, you know, it's always like, what, what could we write that we haven't written before? That's like always our goal. I love it. And I love that you don't get like married tied to a trademark, like not the Phineas sound, just exploring and getting new sounds. I love that. No, that's always my goal. So I'm, I'm grateful to you for feeling that way. Cause I, that's my, my fantasy is that I don't have a, a signature sound because I want to always just um, be making new different things. So I appreciate you for saying that. Thank you, Phineas. And just uh, one last question. Uh, which artist would you love to hear covering one of your songs? Oh, that's an awesome question. I've been listening to Labyrinth a lot lately. Um, like yeah. the Euphoric track. And he's, he's a friend of mine, and I, I just think he has like the greatest voice. So I would be pretty excited to hear him sing really any song, but if he chose to sing one of our songs, I would be really excited about it. Well, Phineas, thank you so much for your time. I mean, we could talk just for a long, long time because there's a lot of things to talk with you, but thank you for your time. We are going to keep playing uh, every, every song of Blood Harmony here in Alpha 91.3 and waiting for new music. Thank you, Phineas. Hey, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, a great fall. And um, give my love to your brother. Thank you, Phineas. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.